What is the link between women, a woman's image and self-confidence? Several years ago, I was 70 pounds overweight, addicted to menthol cigarettes, unhappy with my job, with my marriage. I was suffering from hot flashes and low self-esteem. At my lowest moment, I was inspired by a true story about beauty and self-confidence. I spent an entire year discovering and developing my personal style, my purpose, and my potential. And as a result, I quit smoking, I lost 50 pounds, I gained self-esteem, I built a booming business, and I restored my marriage. I'm convinced that our self-confidence is directly linked to our personal appearance. My name is Nancy Joseph with nancyjoseph.com and I'm your image consultant today. I'm happy to be here and share with you three ways to win with first impressions. Your image impacts your income and your outcome. And it all starts with the first impression. When a person sees you for the first time, that's a first impression. What they think of you is the first impression. So whether you're networking or you're prospecting or you're presenting a product, you never get a second chance to make a first impression unless everyone was drunk. <laughs> when a person sees you for the first time, they form an impression in 30 seconds. And of that first impression, 55% is your visual appearance. 38% is nonverbal communication, and just 7% is what you say. Wow, 55% of our credibility is based on how we look. So by now you probably notice the colors that I'm wearing, my makeup, and my hairstyle. Hopefully nothing about my visual appearance will keep you from hearing what I have to say about the importance of first impressions. All right, the absolute first impression that you will make on someone will be through your clothes. Are you wearing the right color? How many times has someone said to you, are you tired? Are you not feeling well? <laughs> and yet you were perfectly fine? Chances are you were wearing the wrong color. The color of your hair, the color of your eyes, and the color of your skin determines which colors are gonna make you look radiant or washed out. Here's an example. Lisa is an author and she needed an image consultant to help her decide what color she should wear for her book signings and for her headshots. While she was still working a nine to five job and writing novels on the weekend, sometimes on purpose on Wednesday and Thursday, she would wear the wrong color clothes to work. That way on Friday when she called off sick so she could stay home and write all day, her boss would say, yeah, Lisa, I thought you looked kind of tired. Take the weekend off and we'll see you on Monday. So color matters. So how do you know what colors look good on you and what don't, and which ones don't? I have a quick assessment that you can do by looking at the vein, the color of the veins on the inside of your wrist. The foundation of our coloring is based on our undertone. We're either warm or we're cool. If you see blue veins on your wrist, that means you're cool and blues and pinks and violets are gonna look beautiful on you. If you see green veins, that means you're warm, and the reds and the oranges and the yellows are gonna look amazing. It's important to know which colors look good and which ones don't. Color matters. If you don't know what color to wear, your eye color is your best neutral. You can build your wardrobe around your eye color, you're gonna look amazing. 38% of a first impression is nonverbal communication. I have three habits that you can implement in order to make a good first impression with your nonverbal communication. And the first one is to smile every time you walk into a room or when you begin to speak. The second one is have a firm handshake, no noodle fingers, <laughs> firm handshake. And the third one is open body language. Uncross your arms and lift your chin. Finally, only seven.
My mother-in-law said, I'm moving to Marco Island. There's room on the U-Haul if you want to go. We had $2,000 in a waterbed. So we packed up and we moved from Chicago to Marco Island. That's what I tell people when they ask me where I'm from. We get that a lot here, especially being in Southwest Florida. So think of a fascinating way to answer that question. So next time somebody sees you, they're gonna remember that because you've evoked an emotion or told a story. And then my final third um, habit is the single sweetest sound in any language is a person's name. Use their names. When you remember their name, they immediately like you. Yes. All right, so to wrap this all up, your first impression can make or break a deal in your personal and professional life. Right. So make sure you're wearing the right colors, be mindful of your body language, and find fascinating ways to communicate. So although making a good first impression is important, leaving a lasting impression should be your goal. So most people have at least once in their life hired a personal trainer, they have a hairstylist, they have a person who does their nails, and all kinds of other personal care luxuries. Why not add image consultant into the mix? More and more people are investing in their personal appearance by hiring an image consultant. Here's three fashion and beauty tips that I want to give you today. If you want to lose 10 pounds without even going on a diet, three quarters sleeves. When your sleeve ends on the narrowest part of your arm, you look slimmer than when you've got the sleeve all the way down to the fingertips. Instant 10 pounds, works on everybody. I have a question for you. If you were going to invest in a handbag that you were gonna wear all the time, everywhere you went with every outfit that you own, what color should it be? Black, neutral. Black, neutral, anybody else? It should match your hair because you always have your hair with you no matter where you go. So that's if you're going to invest. I mean, I'm not saying you can't have a purple handbag or a red lip handbag. You went wrong. <laughs> but that's how to look all together put together. And then a third tip, a beauty tip, is that did you know that women who wear makeup earn up to 30% more than women who don't? So to go barefaced is, you can't even, don't even fathom that. You need to have some kind of natural makeup look. And um, so I'll, I have a few minutes, do I, Robin, to just take a couple questions and then I'll, I'll wrap up. So who's got questions? Fashion, beauty struggles, what's your biggest struggle? Um, not what my biggest struggle is, but I always thought that your shoes and your purse should match. Yes. If you wear your, if your shoes match your hair, then you're all together put together. You don't have to match the bag to the shoes if you want your bag to be the pop. Because we should always have one thing on, our, on us that's a pop. Whether it's like an overcoat or a piece of jewelry, something on you needs to pop. So if it's gonna be your handbag, you know, but you're safe to match your hair, your handbag and your shoes, you'll look all together put together. That was a great question. Yes. I hate makeup. <laughs> it's very strong. I think it's beautiful on other people, but I rub my eyes because I do cry a lot. Mm -hmm. And I smoke, so my lipstick, you know, it's just not for me. I put it on and it's gone within 10 minutes. Of, so then what do you do? I, you get her lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Caroline has. <laughs> Well, everybody has a different level of makeup. We have like a level one is someone who just very minimal and then a medium and then the I love makeup, I don't leave my house without my false lashes level. And so what my recommendation is this, makeup is you use it as a protectant for your skin, first of all, against the elements. And you're even, even out your skin tone with a foundation. I have four easy steps to a makeup application that everybody should be able to make the time for. And, and that it is the first uh, step is foundation and blush. Foundation is going to just even out your skin tone, whether it's a tinted moisturizer, something to even out your skin tone, and a blush just to get some color on your cheeks. And then the step step two is for your eyes. You're going to fill in your eyebrows. That's an anti-aging trick. And then you're going to put eyeliner on and an eyeshadow. Step number three is mascara. 
And then step number four is some kind of lip color, whether it's a lip chapstick, a lip color, something like that. That way you're protecting your skin, plus you just are pulling yourself all together and people respond to us based on the way we look. So you've got to be comfortable. I'll be but. a poor salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that does bring me a question. Yes. I, I have no eyebrows here. I've tried and tried and tried to fill them in. And I have tried probably a thousand dollars worth of different products. Right. Nothing stays on. Nothing stays on. Well, we since we live in this climate, everything melts. So if you're using, if you've got oily skin, if, if yeah, if you're using like a cream product, you always want to top that with a, with a shadow of some sort, some kind of setting powder. So eyebrows, eyeliners. You know, it, it always helps to have that, that setting powder so they don't, you know, go away. But then there's always the option of, of, of tattoo, you know, permanent makeup. I don't do the permanent makeup just because it's permanent. And that's why I don't do hair. It's because you can't, like, you know, makeup, we just wash it right off. Hair is very temperamental and very emotional. <laughs> I just, I just want to say, because when, when I was in hair school a hundred years ago, we were taught that if you look successful, you will be successful. If you look like you're busy, like, uh, it's not even the right way. If you look like you're busy where you make a lot of money, people will think that you're that good, that you're making that kind of money. I shop at Clothes Mentor. I shop at Plato's Closet. I buy stuff. 80% off at New York and Company because I can't afford to buy the regular prices. I drive a, a decent car, and I was taught that in beauty school that if you look, if you spend a little bit and look like you can afford, I buy knockoff bags. Right. Nobody can tell unless you know it because you want to project that image. People think, oh my gosh, she must be a busy hairdresser. She must be that good if she can look like that and wear nice clothes and designer this and that. And it has worked in the 27 years. This is my third salon that I've owned with these two girls, and it has worked. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And I Perception like is real. Or I'm there to do one person and then I'm leaving. Right. But every day I come in dressed like this. Well, that's why my motto is your image impacts your income and your outcome. And uh, that's why I wanted to just add that because what yeah. you're saying is true. It, and it's proven in 27 years, it has proven to work for me. That's great. So that's what great. you're telling is, is true. It is true, right? Yeah, yeah. Great it's just how do you find something to, to do this? Uh, well, I've got a whole bag full of makeup, and I just started, um, just for myself, I just started doing unique because, like, I didn't want anything that tested on animals, and it's more natural, and, like, I use the BB Flawless. It's called Unique Product, and they've got, like, a brow thing that you can use to do with your brows. Um, it's like a gel that you put on, and you push um, a little brush that puts in the color, and it helps stay on. Everything that I have on my face is from Unique. Um, that's just that's that's are you a, are you a unique distributor? I've been doing this kind of business for thirty years, mm -hmm. and I was I definitely wanted to be here just to hear you mm -hmm. because there's so many fresh new young people doing what we all do uh, when it comes to beauty and self image, all those good things. And Nancy, you're amazing. I'm oh, so thank you. Proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to leave you. I want to leave you with this. Be inspired to look presentable at all times because you never know who's looking at you for the first time. Thank you, ladies. Thank you.